Whoa, um, so we're a competitive bunch. Um, we keep our sources and, and uh, secrets, and that's okay sometimes. I think we need to learn to collaborate better, to play nicely together, because the world I want for my daughter in the future depends on us showing a picture of the world as it is. We're starting to collaborate tentatively. I think we need to really embrace it full on. We need to renew our industry to remain relevant. We all know that. From the town crier, we are now the instant global deliverer of information. We live in a globalized, digitized, interdependent world. Each one of us has um, uh, professional, personal, and consumer connections and tendrils that spread around the world. This new world needs a new global agenda, and isn't that the mandate of journalism? So how might we do that? Let's update the picture and the procedures we use, the process, and the product we deliver to our audience so that the people that we serve understand that they are participants in this global society, right? We are um, local, national, and global citizens simultaneously, right? And this is not tree-hugging shit. Basically, a globalized world depends on us learning collaborate to manage the challenges that we have as a, as a human society. And if we as journalists keep showing this fragmented view, um, telling stories that start and stop at our national boundaries, we are not going to get that world. And breaking news, like the people actually care and are driven by what we talk about. They listen and act on what we say. And the good news is we don't have to be global behemoths to do this. Um, we live in a networked world. Let's be a little smarter about the way we network ourselves, and let's actually maybe bring in this idea of division of labor, right? Let's do what we do well, whether that's local or national or global, and then let's collaborate to help the public connect the dots about how their individual experience unfolds in the context of what's happening globally. We can't do it alone. But if we collaborate, we might get there. So why would we do something the same old way we've been doing it forever and not collaborate and try something new? And this is what we've been doing at Orb in the last year. And I want to talk a little bit about what we did. We published in September a story on plastics. And it all started with this 2013 story in the New York Times about microplastics in the Great Lakes. And I looked at that and I thought, huh, I wonder if that's a story or a global issue, whether it's just a problem in the United States. And so I started thinking about that and asked this core question for Orb, which is, does this story potentially affect billions of people around the world? And we did a little pre-reporting, and guess what? It does. These microplastics are fucking everywhere, in everything, and they're getting into our water systems, right? And so I began to look at that, and our water systems, we take our drinking water from these water systems, so pretty basic question, is there microplastic in our drinking water? Guess what? There was no research, so we set up a citizen science project and did a global research project on drinking water and testing it for microplastics. Now, ideally, this is where we would have started partnering with other publishers, but that didn't happen this time. It will happen in the future where we ask you to bring your ideas to us and work with us on the development and the direction the story can take, and even sometimes on the production. But then what happened for us is we got the results. 83% of the samples we took around the world had microscopic plastic fibers in them. And my next thing was to throw up. And I actually did it twice, um, because we're drinking this stuff every day. Um, and if I was doing this again, I would have resequenced our work. I would have sent the team out to report after we had the results, when they could have found something else to do for a little while. Um, and also, I would have thought a little more coherently about the competitive nature of our business and make sure that each one of our partners had um, local test results that they could compare to the global averages. Um, I got on the phone in the summer and started calling editors. And it turns out, people have vacations in the summer. but. Um, and they all take them at the beach. But the nice editors called me back and passed me on to a deputy. We worked out a deadline, and we decided that we would publish. We had a, a loose MOU. Um, and then my next job was to relax for a minute and believe. I'm not very good at that. This really stretched me. But um, basically, I developed a mantra. We are professionals working with professionals, and it came out great. Some publishers pu um, published our story verbatim. Some added their own reporting. And some wrote their own stories based on what we had reported and researched. And then what I hoped happened would. We published simultaneously and cataloged, catalyzed a global dialogue on an important issue that focused the attention of government, of industry, of uh, civil society in a way that helps individuals act as the citizens they are. Um, so I think that's why we all got into journalism, right, for positive change. So let's renew our industry by starting to collaborate, by doing the things that we do well locally, 
publishing together and showing a more accurate and updated picture of the way our world actually works. Thank you.